This past week, Gabe Lumen invited me, Louis, and Kindy Nichols to join him for a private tour of a new exhibit at the La Brea Tar Pits. My friend Ricardo installed the exhibit and invited me to come check it out. I was so excited. Anytime I can be around anything related to a dinosaur is a special treat. You know, Darian hadn't been out of the country like we thought she had. So we were all just looking forward to catching up. Right. I don't know what it is about it, like but that. Oh, he doesn't understand it. Exactly. If it's not a canoe, then I don't want to be in it. Yeah. And that's and what he gonna, always said. I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be in it. Gabe Lumen was in London in 2015 performing a live reading of an erotic Anne Rice novel in Hyde Park. And that's where he first saw the Shimmering Pavilion exhibit or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> I was on stage in the middle of reading an intense monologue and I saw this long line of people off in the distance walking into what looked like a giant psychedelic snake. I was blown away when I went in after the show. It felt otherworldly. I was spiritually lifted. I was under the impression it was a private tour, something intimate and fresh. I, I think my nerves are still on thin ice, seeing as I haven't left the house in four months. It certainly wasn't that big of a deal. Before walking into the pavilion, we were all in great spirits and laughing hysterically. But Gabe's friend Ricardo wasn't there to give us a private tour, and it just rattled Darien a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about before. Well, well, I, we walked the wrong way. Dr. Laramie had given me some tea from Morocco, uh, and I was out of coffee that morning, so I drank the tea, and it kind of flipped my lid. I fell in love with the acoustics in there. Gabe and I really got into the sound and colors, and I exploded with life. It has rhythm. It has light. It's soulful. trying to stabilize, but Gabe was acting like some pastor in a rodeo church, and Kindy was reliving some kindergarten fantasy. Uh, Louis, meanwhile, was sitting, uh, well, giving it his best. Ricardo never showed up, but who cares? The whole afternoon reminded me of the great Alexander Dumas novel, The Three Musketeers. Uh, you know, frolic and fancy with a little undercurrent of raw motion and surprise. Uh, but really, it's just four mates trying to find harmony within a new adventure. <laughs>